Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to CME and First Dragon's January webinar. We are featuring Nuance's Clinic 360 transcription. My name is Susan Campbell, and uh, thank you for attending. We are very excited that we have partnered with Nuance to offer their transcription services now, along with Dragon Medical Practice that we have always uh, worked with. Uh, during this webinar, we're going to introduce to you Clinic 360 transcription and explain the benefits and workflow. For the webinar, all attendees are muted. Please hold your questions to the end, and we will be happy to answer them during our question and answer session at the end of the call. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about us, we are Computers Made Effective, and our website is firstdragon.com. And we are based in the Tampa Bay area with clients nationwide. We have been in business for almost 18 years, and we are elite partners with Nuance. We have a strong team of voice technology experts and are dedicated to giving the best service we can deliver. With me on our call today from our team are Bonnie Saxman and Josh Collins. Bonnie will introduce Clinic 360 to you and give you an overview and describe the workflow. Josh will conduct a demonstration which will feature the mobile app used with Clinic 360. On this slide, we are showing you our two favorite professional recorders, the Olympus 7000 and the Philips 8000. Um, for those of you that, um, you know, we analyze our workflow and we, and we offer you a quote, we will uh, offer you $50 off these recorders, which is excellent saving. It's difficult. There are not many savings on these recorders. Um, and also, we are entering everyone who has joined us today for into, into a drawing for a free Olympus 7000. So we will notify that person uh, via email uh, if you want. Uh, so I'd like to go ahead and uh, introduce uh, Bonnie Saxman, who will talk to you about Clinic 360. Thank you, Susan. Hello, everyone. We appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with us today. This is a new product for us, as Susan mentioned, uh, partnering with Nuance on the Clinic 360, and we are extremely excited about it. It has been uh, used at the hospital level and larger clinic level for several years, so it's a proven transcription solution. Feel free to ask questions at the end of our presentation today. If for some reason we are unable to answer a question, we will collect your information and provide the answer to you by phone or email. But we'll do our best. So this is a summary of what we'll be covering today. Uh, I'll provide you with an overview of the solution. We'll talk a little bit about the market dynamics. And then we'll go into just uh, superficially the differences between structured and unstructured interfaces. And then we'll go over the work, a little bit of the workflow, the benefits, the features, and then our commitment to you. And then after that, I will hand it over to Josh. He will show you the mobile, flow, uh, mobile phone workflow and then also the dashboard that will be used uh, by your administrative staff. Next slide, please. OK, I apologize for the uh, detail on the slide, but it has a lot of good information. Uh, the uh, first bullet basically just identifies that it's for the traditional side of transcription, we will offer a 24-hour turnaround time with typically the 11 to 12 hour uh, time frame. Then we have a stat option, which is a four hour turnaround time. And with both options, uh, we're um, resulting in 99.1% accuracy, so pretty darn accurate. OK, so the next bullet, um, it's just relating to the uh, choice of dictation mode. Uh, You'll be able to dictate, and we'll go into this in more detail, from a digital recorder, from your iPhone, Android phones, or even from a landline. Then uh, we'll go a little bit into the structured de uh, templates that are offered with e each EHR so that you can actually use your phone to go through a patient's note, edit, sign off, and go on to the next patient. Okay, the the third tool, or the, excuse me, the third bullet, um, basically the ultimate goal is to reduce the time taken to dictate and also enable physician mobility within the practice. 
Okay, next slide, please. All right, so basically these are some images on uh, the dynamics that are going on in uh, a medical practice today. And so basically the first image on the left, uh, I guess the, uh, the summary would be that there's more regulation, you're working harder than ever before, and you're seeing reduced reimbursements, unfortunately. The, uh, the middle slide, we have a way to offer better supporting documentation so we can in help you increase your reimbursements as opposed to simply pointing and clicking in your EHR. And then the right image, uh, Clinic 360 allows you the ability to elaborate on a patient's condition while not interrupting your EHR workflow. Next slide, please. Okay, NUANCE conducted a patient survey uh, last year and uh, the, the left image basically is stating that patients feel during a visit that they receive, they're receiving less face time with their doctor. And if a scribe's in the room, they feel that they receive even less face-to-face -face time. The middle slide represents that or I should say indicates that patients are becoming more of an advocate for themselves and for their own health, and they want to have meaningful conversations with their doctors during their visits. And then the right image, the survey results indicate that uh, patients recognize that technology is here to stay, but that they need a balance, for, uh, which would ultimately enhance patient satisfaction. Next slide, please. Okay, this is my favorite slide. This represents the just a uh, sprinkling of the EHRs that we have interfaces with. And there are a couple of different types of interfaces that we have with the Transcription 360. One is called unstructured, which is more of a uh, standard transcription model. And unstructured unstru means that you would dictate your narrative they get sent out to a transcriptionist and transcribed into a Word document. They'd be saved in a uh, PDF and sent back to your EHR where it would attach that document, that PDF, to the patient's visit, electronic visit. So it wouldn't get embedded or incorporated into the note. It would be attached as an addendum. As opposed to a structured interface, same scenario where the transcription um, gets sent out and transcribed, but it gets transcribed in the templates that are already pre-customized uh, and developed for each provider, which is done during the implementation process. So those templates are transcribed, those visits are transcribed and sent back to the EHR. The EHR then, with an HL7 interface, actually pushes that information into the, the, that specific aspect of the note, whether it be HPI assessment plan, patient, you know, the patient um, general visit, that type of thing. So feel free to contact us to find out what type of interface exists for your, your particular EHR. All right, next slide, please. All right, and this is another busy di diagram, but basically it's showing you that interface, that structured interface. So you're dictating a narrative it's transcribed and it's sent back into the visit note. So it's pushing it into the parts and embedding it into the note so that your EHR can take it and code it and provide that discrete data for billing and for meeting meaningful use. Next slide, please. Okay, this is showing the workflow and it's a conceptual diagram, but basically uh, to take away from this this uh, image, you can dictate using your mobile phone, digital recorders, or even a landline. Get sent to the transcriptionist, sent up to the cloud, sent into, if it's a structured interface, to our interface engine called ShadowLink, and then sent back down and, and placed in the appropriate sections of the note, and then sent back down to your um, workstation or your uh, mobile phone. 
And then the bottom part is related to the administrative aspect of this, where there is a number of reports that you can generate, productivity reports that your administrative staff can use uh, that will be helpful to them. And that's what that represents at the bottom. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, key benefits. All right, the upper left-hand side, basically, you can uh, dictate narratives in front of the patient. You, the flexibility also includes dictating at a station, in, in your office, or even at the hospital. The bottom left is basically just summarizing the, the mobility, that you can use mobile phones and digital recorders. The uh, bottom right, the structured interfacing that we were discussing earlier for a more detailed patient note. And the upper right-hand corner, uh, the dictation template, as I mentioned, is customized for each provider based on visit type and interface availability with your particular EHR. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, our services, our commitment to you. We have a 24-hour turnaround time with an average of 11 to 12 hours, and then the four-hour stat that I mentioned, and both with a 99-plus percent accuracy. The deployment time frame. Within three days of an executed contract, we have a kickoff call with our implementation team. And then you can anticipate going live four to six weeks after the kickoff call, depending on the resources that they need to get in place for the volume of your particular transcription, sometimes sooner. The, uh, the implementation team then handles the interfacing, the templating for the providers, and the initial training and, and hold your hand basically for the first 45 days until you're comfortable with the whole workflow and process and running reports and such. And then they hand it over to the support team. The support team does uh, conduct some reinforcement training, they support, and then they become your account managers. So that's the summary of our services and our commitments and an overview of the Clinic 360. I would uh, like to thank you for your time, and, and now would like to hand it over to Josh for the demonstration. Yes, hi. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Susan. Again, my name is Joshua Collins. And you know, today I'm going to show you a, a couple of, uh, of key features here with the Clinic 360 solution. You know, one of them is going to be the Clinic 360 mobile app, and that's really where, you know, as a provider, you probably spend most of your time you know, getting in there and, uh, and managing your notes. And the other side of it is a web portal. So we're also going to take a look at the web portal, which could be used by administrative staff. As Bonnie was mentioning earlier there, there's some great reports in there. Um, you know, or the provider themselves could still use the web portal to go in and review the notes as well. Um, so you know, first let's talk about the Clinic 360 mobile app. And um, you know, it really gives you the, the freedom to dictate you know, anywhere, anytime. Um, you know, you can really do it all from there as far as creating your note, you know, picking your patient, creating your note, editing your note, reviewing it, signing off on it. It's really all, all built into the app here. So, um, you know, it's really kind of a, a one-stop shop as far as that goes. Everything is accessible for you there. Um, and, you know, and because, you know, you do have the freedom to dictate anywhere and any time, you know, that just naturally is going to improve your, your productivity. It's going to improve your, your quality of, of patient care as far as, you know, you're not having to be tethered to the, the machine or the computer or the EMR. Um, you know, you can have more, you know, face-to-face -face time with your patients there. Um, and, you know, because everything is, is, you know, integrated with the EMR, everything is routed automatically, um, you know, that's really where it's also going to improve, you know, your billing time, your turnaround time for reimbursement. You know, you'll get uh, reduced claim rejections and, you know, it really is a, a complete solution here. So let's go ahead and take a look at just a couple of quick notes on the mobile app. <clears throat> you know, so it is going to work for Apple or Android. So you're really covered in, in either area there. Um, you know, very simple, easy to use. We'll take a look at a few screenshots here in just a moment. And, um, you know, we'll go through uh, a couple of workflows there. But, you know, like we were saying, you can really use it to create, review, and edit all of your notes um, and then, you know, sign off on. Any, any notes as well. And, you know, it does have a, a real-time patient list. So just as, you know, a typical EMR would, you're going to be able to get in there, see your patients, see their demographics. You know, you can, you can flip forward and backwards, you know, as far as a typical calendar 
and you'll have your real-time you know, patient list there as well. Uh, and then also another nice feature is, you know, as you're dictating, you can go back and review your previous notes, which, you know, it's, it's hard to do nowadays. A lot of the EMR systems, um, you know, that we see, it's, it's not as easy to go back and, you know, kind of read your previous note while dictating or, you know, working on your new one. So it's very, very handy to be able to go back there and, and see those previous notes. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the next slide, we're going to have just a few screenshots that we're going to go through. We're going to talk about really those, those two main types of, of workflows that you're going to be, you know, going through on your mobile app here. So, you know, from the provider standpoint, you know, you're going to have a, a login and password. So you'd open your app, you'd log in. And these screenshots are, are kind of in the, the order here uh, that you're going to be going. So you log in, you then be presented with your patient schedule along with all the demographics. And again, you can go, you know, forward and backwards yesterday to, uh, you know, tomorrow. You have, you know, the options there as well. Um, you know, from there, you're basically, you know, just, just tapping on whichever patient, you, you know, you're wanting to create a note for. Um, and the last three screenshots there, you can see, you know, you do have the ability to use templates as well. So, you know, aside from just the standard, you know, recorded dictation, you could also implement, you know, a, a normal physical exam or review of systems into your note along with, you know, your recorded dictation. So very straightforward, very easy to use. You know, it just takes a couple of, of taps really to kind of get in there, open up your patient, and begin dictating. So that's one side of it. You know, the other side is, you know, after you've dictated, the notes come back, you know, it, it's been transcribed. You want to go in and review it, you know, make sure everything is okay, um, you know, do any editing, and then finally, you know, complete it with your e-signature and sign off on it. So that's what we're looking at here. And these, uh, these screenshots are for the, uh, the Apple, Apple app, but very similar, you know, to the Android, basically the same, same thing there. But, you know, here on the first uh, screenshot, you can see kind of your, your different inboxes, whether it's waiting to be reviewed or still waiting to be typed um, or, you know, in something you need to sign off on, you have some options there. And basically, you know, you would just tap on to whichever one, you know, you're looking for. Here in the, in the next few slides, this is uh, an example of going in, box and reviewing anything that is, uh, you know, waiting to be reviewed and completed. So that's, that's the screenshots you can see here. You see the note there on the third screenshot. And then the last one gives you the option to go in there and edit it, or uh, if everything is correct, you can just complete it and go to the next one. So very easy, very straightforward to use there. And as a provider, you can really spend, you know, all of your time, you know, just here uh, with your mobile app, and it's really, you know, all that you would need to do. Um, Another side I want to show you here, though, is I want to go ahead and show you the web portal. So again, this is great for administrators or, you know, this is your other option as a provider to go in there and review and, and sign off on your, your notes and documents. So let me go ahead and switch over. All right, so, you know, once you log in, this is kind of your home screen there, the, the web portal. And, you know, you have a lot of useful things here. You can go through and change preferences, and, you know, you can get help, uh, help desk support, and, you know, a lot of manuals, instructions are available here for you. Um, you can also see, you know, a snapshot of your workflow. So over here on the right, you can see, you know, how many notes are out there sitting waiting to be reviewed or waiting to be signed and, you know, printed or coded. So you have a lot of, you know, options there as well. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first, I'm going to go ahead and show you... Um, the reporting section here. So we're going to go ahead and click on reports. Um, and it basically just brings us to this tab uh, in vision here is, uh, is the reporting system. So, you know, here is just an example of some of the reports that, you know, come uh, with the system here kind of out of the box. You know, anything that you do want to change or, or possibly create your own report, you could definitely do that here. Very flexible and powerful as far as the reporting features go. So anything you can think of as far as you know, any kind of data you're looking to mine, anything you're trying to figure out with your reporting really could be, you know, created there. You would just let your project manager know and they could, you know, we could definitely get that done for you. But, you know, just a few examples of some reports here. <clears throat> I'll just scroll down a little bit. So you can just see, you know, everything from transcription production to, you know, turnaround time compliance. Um, you know, really they do have a, a good uh, set of uh, default reports here. To look through. And I actually uh, ran one ahead of time just to show you guys here. Let me go ahead and pull it up. So, you know, it's just going to create the report as a standard PDF document. But, you know, here we have an unsigned uh, transcription summary. So 
basically, you know, very nice to just easily have a report of, okay, these are the ones we need to go in there and, and sign off on. You see it, it lists them by provider, and then it goes, it goes ahead and lists, uh, you know, the patient's name and demographics. So, you, you know, you know exactly which note you need to open up there and, um, and get, you know, signed off on. So, you know, from the management and administrative point, very powerful, very useful reporting features here. And I think you guys will definitely, definitely love that feature of it. Um, now, going back to the provider, you know, if you do want to go in here and uh, check out your, your uh, you know, notes waiting to be reviewed, we could click here on the workflow tab. And you see here, these are, again, are all the notes that are kind of waiting to be reviewed here, um, you know, and then, be, and then, you know, finally be signed off on. But anything you do want to change, uh, if you do maybe want to go here and edit, it's real simple. You just find the patient, click on edit. And let's see, let me try another another option here. Oh, you know what, maybe they're having some trouble with the database here. It doesn't seem to be editing. Let me just try one more time. No, nope. looks like it is um, maybe going down here. So, you know what, this is a test database. There may be some other, other hands in here. Yeah, it looks like it's um, it's been closed out there. Let me go ahead and um, <clears throat> sign back in here one more time. We'll see if we can pull that back up. All right, here we go. So we'll go back to the, uh, the workflow tab. Just really quickly wanted to show you guys um, that edit feature. So we'll go here under the inbox. We'll go back here to edit. Uh, and then, you know, easily you can go in here, review the, uh, the transcribed uh, note, and then easily go in here and make any changes. Hey, you, know, you could potentially use Dragon in here as well. If you, you know, if you have Dragon um, on your computer, you could definitely get in here and use Dragon to make these changes um, as well. And then you know, just go ahead and save it and complete it when you're finished. So, you know, very, very easy to use. Very, you know, really straightforward, but very powerful as well. So it's a nice, nice web portal. Uh, so you have this along with a mobile app, and that's really, you know, going to be your two ways that you're going to get in there as the end user whether it's the provider or, you know, the administrative staff to really go in here and, and manage and get a handle on, on everything, um, you know, Clinic 360. So um, with that, I want to go ahead and turn it back over to Susan here. Okay, we'll great. See. Thank you so much for that demonstration. Um, and like I mentioned before, um, you know, we're happy to um, conduct a thorough workflow analysis with you, and um, you know he showed the online and the mobile, but the recorders can be used too. And you know if we determine that 360 Clinic is right for you, um, you know we'll honor the fifty dollars off the recorder if, if that's what you know we we determine is the best uh, solution for you. Um, but this time I'd like to open up um, for any questions that you have about Clinic 360. And we will answer them. OK, I've got a first one. Um, on Athena Clinicals, what type of interface is available? Does that include e-signature? I'll let either Bonnie or Josh answer that. I'll go ahead and answer that, Susan. Yes. Yeah, so Athena Clinicals has both an unstructured interface solution and a structured interface solution with the e-signature capability. Okay, great. Uh, we have another question. What is pricing for domestic versus multi-shore? I'll go ahead and take that one, too. <laughs> um, okay, so for, um, it, it's dependent upon the line per month that you generate. But basically for US-based transcription, it ranges anywhere from uh, about 12 and a half cents to 13 and a half cents per line. Then uh, for a, uh, let's see, well, we call it multi-shore, it ranges anywhere from 10 and a half cents all the way up to 12 cents per line, once again, depending on the volume. Okay, great. Uh, next question. Can I run a physician turnaround time report in a monthly billing unit, total lines and cost or report? Uh, yes, yes, you definitely can. You know, those, those actually reports are, are in there, you know, out of the box there. So 
definitely can run those. You know, and if anything needed to be customized or you wanted to, you know, create your own report, you can definitely go in there, and uh, you know, we could set those up for you as well. So yes, you could definitely, definitely see the turnaround time, total cost, a lot of good information in those reports. Okay. It looks like we have one more question. Uh, can you use the Clinic 360 for in-house and outsourcing? You could. So you know you can use um, you know in-house along with outsourcing. You know you could you could create you know specific documents or templates. Maybe it's uh, you know referring letter or something that you wanted to keep you know uh, in-house. Um, you know you can definitely do that, and that could all be set up you know very easily. You know once you get once you get going there, you would just you know talk to your project manager, and we could we could set that up for you. Okay. Thanks, Josh. I don't see any other questions coming in. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and um, wrap it up. I, you know, want to thank everyone for attending our webinar today. Uh, we hope that you found this information valuable, and uh, we hope that you join us for future webinars. We're um, excited because our our next webinar is going to be on Dragon Medical Direct, and that is going to be Dragon Medical Practice in the Cloud. So look for our emails and uh, advertising about that. Also, again, um, remember about our recorder, uh, our two professional recorder discounts, and please follow us on social media. We are um, updating uh, those uh, quite often now, and there's neat updates about you know what medical shows that we are attending and maybe specials that we're having, and then also about our webinars and some education. So we are on, on all of the major social media under CME and First Dragon. And we will let the winner know uh, who won the recorder uh, after this webinar. And thank you again for joining us, and we hope you have a good day.